Hello everybody, this is Samantha Jane, otherwise known as The Psychic Coach. I'm coming to you here from a sunny Swindon in the UK to give you insight into how love is going to play out in July. This is a general reading across all the star signs and um, just to give that little bit of insight of how the energies are going to play out. So take what resonates with you. You may wish to drop back as well. And don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so you hear, um, you get a notification every time I load a new video. So let's see what's going on in July in love. So for some in love in July, things may come to a crash as realisations are made, light bulb moments are had. Some of you may be recognising some home truths and because of that it may even feel like things are falling apart. As I always say in these situations, it's not falling into part lovely, it's falling into place. So keep that at the back of your mind. There is somewhere else or someone else now when it comes to love that you are supposed to be with. Now there is this desire within a lot of people through the month of July of wanting it all, wanting everything. But there are also a lot of decisions to be made and a lot of cycles coming to an end and beginning. Many people will be choosing to spend time on their own, whether just for pockets of time because they need that time for self-discovery or whether it is because they are choosing to be single. But I do, I am showing that there is a need to be aware of other people not taking very kindly to that. So just be mindful of that. The journey that you are all on through July is actually to get you through a smoother place, to a much better place emotionally. We spent most of June dealing with karmic love energies, old connections, old patterns, raising their ugly heads for us to deal with and sort and file and heal. And so now finally we are released from that and we can step forwards into the new. New beginnings are possible, but Venus is in retrograde. So it may be a bit tricky as it begins, as we begin the month of July. But there are beginnings possible, but weigh things up and check it is the right relationship for you and that it is coming from the right place emotionally, your reasons for wishing to be in the relationship. Some of you may be moving in together so that you can blend lives together, but it certainly is all about love and that includes self-love going to a new level in the month of July because there is a need to put yourself first and how you want things to be um, is very important now. 2020 has always been a year that is going to set the pattern for how things are going to be for the next 10 years. So just make sure that you are loving yourself in the right way, that you have your boundaries, that you are really genuinely happy and content in the relationships you are in rather than in them to avoid loneliness or emptiness. So just watch for that in the month of July as any relationships that don't belong will be highlighted once more, giving you opportunity to get out. So this is a time where I have my cosmic heart card. So this really is a time for listening to your heart, a time for meditating, connecting with yourself, connecting with that self-love once more, I'm going to say, and recognising the need to make your choices in love from your heart and not necessarily from your mind, okay? So just be aware of that as you move forwards in love through the month of July. Because what is also coming up through my cards today, that July is very much going to be a month for personal growth. So as long as your relationship is allowing, if you are in one, if you are, it's allowing you the space and the energy to go through your own personal growth within it, as long as it is serving that, then it can be a healthy month for you in love. But if not, as I said before, this could be a month of decisions and choices and change. So stay strong. If you want to order a personal reading, then there are links in the description box below. And good luck. Enjoy July. Bye.